On today's trip, we travel from Adelaide to Port Wakefield, then on to the Clare Valley. Port Wakefield was the first government town to be established north of the South Australian capital. Considering its place in the state's history, one would think it would be flowing with historical seaside architecture, thriving parklands around an impressive river Wakefield, and a bustling town centre full of tourists. But it's not. Today, Port Wakefield is a truck stop for refilling your vehicle, taking an unpleasant shit in bad quarters, or a staging point for dirty smelly fishermen and their rickety boats from the local region. It is best to dodge the rubbish piles and possible needles lying around the information board welcoming you to the York Peninsula too, and seek information further on in your journey. On the way to Clare Valley, we stopped in a town called Balaclava, which a Brit named in 1869 after a pathetic British fight against the Russians in those times. The smell of fail has not left since, and neither had other smells, since this was to be my main toilet stop before Clare. The wine region of Clare is traditionally a place for Ponzi Bogans to head off to in a bus and pretend to be classy while getting pathetically drunk as usual. And it can also be referred to as a nightclub for old white people waiting to die in retirement. The first stop in the Clare Valley region was Sevenhill, the oldest winery there. It was founded by some Austrian Jesuits who got the land free from another crowd. They were leading a group of Silesian Poles who settled in nearby Polish Hill River that were fleeing political and religious persecution. Or for a simpler interpretation, another bunch of arrogant and stupid Polish cunts pissing everyone off in Europe, then running away and calling it persecution. Seven Hill was the first Catholic secondary school in Australia, even educating the two brothers of the nation's only saint, Mary MacKillop. But Seven Hill today is specifically a place for making the finest wine to get pissed on, and that it does well. The grounds were beautiful, the landscape was breathtaking, and one couldn't help but leave without writing, Cheers you awesome Jesuit kraut cunts, in the visitor's logbook. Clare was founded by Edward Gleeson and named after his ancestral home of County Clare, Ireland. Created by an Irishman, it was with no surprise it eventually became most famous for manufacturing alcohol. But it was with most surprise that it became a successful venture. Clare today is a busy country town, filled with those in the wine business, the livestock one, handling the steady influx of tourists, and arresting idiot bogans who got too drunk on their wine tour. Nearby is the Spring Gully Conservation Park with a nice lookout for people that want to cry at nature's beauty or take up fish and chips and talk some shit at the picnic tables. From here it was on to Mintaro, which has such oddities as shoes in a tree and a hedge maze for kids and retards alike. It's also the place of Martindale Hall, an opulent mansion built by a rich bastard in 1879 whom luckily the drought of 1885 took care of and his obviously oversized finances. There was plenty more to see and do in the Clare Valley region, but by this point in the day I couldn't be stuffed. Next time maybe real postcards will come back like the rest of the Bogans on a bus and get pissed. But from here it was back to Adelaide again.